All right, so imagine like 40 miles under Nebraska, they got this mega subterranean magnetic bubble farm, right? I'm talking like the world's largest, maybe the only one. They started it back in 1977, or maybe it was 2033, I forget, but the point is, it's real, trust me. Picture these giant aluminum tunnels, like spaghetti, but for magnets, all twisted and shiny. They farm magnetic bubbles. Don't ask me how. I think it's with lasers or like steam-powered turbines or maybe giant hamster wheels. Anyway, the bubbles are harvested at sunrise, except there's no sun underground. So they use artificial moonlight, which is just blue LEDs, I guess. Each bubble holds like 17 gigawatts of chaos energy, which powers, I don't know, half of Texas on Tuesdays, or maybe just a small town in Idaho. The farm's run by 12,000 goats. Some say robots, but I saw goats, and they looked busy. They say if you touch a bubble, you get teleported to 1992, but only if you blink twice. The bubbles are stored in vaults, sometimes in jars, sometimes in invisible bags, which are like regular bags, but you can't see them. The whole place is a maze. If you get lost, you end up in a dimension made of static electricity, which feels like walking through a thunderstorm made of cotton candy. That's why it's so efficient or inefficient, depending on who you ask. Anyway, that's where Wi-Fi comes from, or maybe it's just a rumor, but I'm telling you, it's all connected.